Hi and welcome back to another measurement video this time. We're going to have a look at the volume of composite solids. Composite solids are a bunch of solids uh, that are joined up, not necessarily the same shape as each other, um, but we need to identify the individual solids, find the volume of each solid, and then add those volumes together to find the total volume. So I'll show you a couple of scenarios. I'm not going to go through and uh, show you again how to do the volume, find the volume of each solid. There are other videos that individually do that. I'm just going to give you an overview of what we do when we have uh, a bunch of solids joined together in a composite shape, as a composite solid figure. Okay, so here for example we have some individual solids here. I think you can see a blue rectangular prism there and sitting on top of that is a pyramid. So basically we find the pyramid volume and there's a video to show you how to do that. <laughs> and then a rectangular prism volume, find that separately and put a big plus between them and find that total volume. Nothing too tricky about that really. Fine, just, just break it up into individual bits, set out your work nice and clearly and uh, research the individual volume formulas if you need to. So here's another one. I think you can spot a blue shape or a solid there, 3D shape, uh, which is looks like a cylinder to me. And then on top of it, if you use your imagination, you can see a, a half sphere or a hemisphere on top there. So we could find the hemisphere volume, and there's a video to show you how to do that already listed. And there's a cylinder volume, and we'll just add those two together. So just break it up and do each bit separately and nice and carefully. Best to use the full version of the each number. Don't round things off uh, before we add them together to find the totals. Best to use the as long a version of uh, your answers in each individual part as possible and then round off at the end if you need to. So uh, that's how we find the volume of composite solids. Identify the individual solids. Now this is another one. We have a cylinder in blue and a cone on top there. So we can find them separately, the cone and the cylinder, and we just add them together. So that's just the overall way we do those. Find them separately nice and carefully. So the volume of composite solids, just to recap, identify the individual solids, figure out what shapes you've got there, and find the volume of each using each individual formula, and then add those uh, final volumes together to find your uh, grand total at the end there and be careful with the units and be careful with your setting out and don't round off too early. They're my tips for finding the volume of composite solids. And uh, we'll catch you next time. PeterBlakeMath.com is the place to go. See you then. Bye.